Nana, and thank you guys so much for being here with me today. If you guys have not already, please hit that subscribe button. It would mean the world to me. And then also don't forget to click on the notification bell so you guys will be notified when I upload a new video. First and foremost, I just wanted to let you guys know I am so, so thankful for you guys and I love you guys so much. I do. I love, love talking to you guys. So feel free to always leave me a comment down below. Reading your comments literally make my my day they're always so sweet and so just kind and I can't thank you guys enough for that I know this video is going to be long but these products literally gave me so much life in 2016 I can't wait to share them with you guys so yeah without any further ado let's just go ahead and get on started jumping right on in the first thing I want to talk about is my hourglass mineral veil primer if you guys didn't already know that this was going to be in this video where have you been this is such a good primer for oily skin, for all skins, but especially for oily skins because this helps control my oils so well. For the past two years, it's been love, 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 and marry me. It's so silky when you apply it and it just blurs everything and it leaves a nice base for you to apply your foundation on. I wanted to let you guys know also that I've used plenty of products this year and some I ran out of and didn't get a chance to repurchase before filming this video for you guys. So the products that I did love but I don't have to show you guys in this video, they will be listed in the description box below. So if you guys wanted to check out those products, they will be down in the down bar. And also, everything that I'm mentioning now will be in the description box, along with links, shades, and all that, um, coupon codes if I have any. And yeah, so don't forget to check the down bar because there's just like a ton of goodies down there for you guys. And moving on to foundation. The first one I have right here with me is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. I love this foundation. I want to say it's probably one of my favorites if not my favorite drugstore foundation for combo oily skin it lasts a really long time on me and it keeps me matte for a decent amount of time i do have to touch up with this foundation but for the price being so affordable and the coverage on it and just the way it finishes I just love this foundation. I did do a first impression on this foundation, so I will go ahead and link that down below as well. The next foundation I want to talk about is the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation, and I know, hold your horses, I have oily skin, what am I doing using a NARS Sheer Glow Foundation? But, but do not let the name lure you away. It is a great foundation, even for oily skin. I noticed that I do get a little bit more glow throughout the day, but it's a natural glow and it's really, really nice. It's a glow that I don't mind. It doesn't make me feel oily or like icky or dirty or grimy. It just gives me a really nice natural glow. The coverage is actually very, very nice. It's a medium coverage, definitely buildable, and I'm in the shade medium one Punjab. So moving on to concealers, the first one I have to talk about is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Dark Circle Eraser, and I have it in the shade Brightener. And I love this concealer. I had stopped using it for a while and I forgot how amazing it was. It just instantly brightens your under eye with little effort. It blends out like a dream. It is an inexpensive drugstore product. I love it. It gives me life. What can I say? The next concealer that I have absolutely been loving is the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer. I feel like a broken record. I've talked about this concealer so much here on my channel. It is amazing. I love it to pieces. The shade I have is Ginger. It is a little bit too dark for me. I was using Ginger more towards the summer months. And it is a great all-around concealer as well as an under-eye concealer. Moving on to setting powders and powders that I have been loving. The setting powder that I've been using to set my under eye makeup is this Besame Translucent Brightening Vanilla Rose Powder. This one is just so nice and lightweight and brightening, definitely, definitely brightening under the eyes. I love to use this to bake or just to use a gentle sweep of it across my under eyes. It sets my concealer very, very flawlessly. So if you're looking for something that's going to really brighten your under eye and just kind of give it a very flawless, seamless, blurred effect under there. The Besame Translucent Brightening Vanilla Rose Powder is 
awesome. The next powder that I have absolutely been loving to set my entire face with is my Kat Von D Lock It Powder Foundation in Medium 53. I know this is a powder foundation and I do use it to set my normal foundation so it gives me a little bit of coverage but I only use a very light hand with this. This powder is amazing at keeping you matte, it gives you coverage, it's just an all around amazing powder. I love it, love it, love it. The next product I want to talk to you guys about is my e.l.f. brow pencil. I feel like I've never mentioned this product on my channel before but oh my goodness you guys, when I discovered this through my best friend Jen I was like my life is changed this gem right here is two bucks at the drugstore this is so nice it's pigmented it lasts all day on me it's what I've been wearing basically all year long and I'm so glad that I found this and I use this in the color taupe the only thing about the elf brow pencil is that they don't have a lot of shades but the taupe one works great for me. Moving on to eyeshadow, I have three products to share with you guys. The first one is another NARS product. This duo is called Kula Lumpur, and it is so freaking stinking gorgeous. I love this. This is a perfect duo if you're like on the go. It's a quick, easy look. I've worn this a couple times in a few different videos. It's so easy, so blendable, so pigmented. Next eyeshadow palette is this Tom Ford eye color quad in disco dust and this palette is just so freaking gorgeous it's what I have on right now and oh my god do you guys die for these colors because I die for these colors Tom Ford disco dust is all I'm ever using it's so gorgeous so, 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 so gorgeous. The next palette I have here is my Anastasia Beverly Hills World Traveler palette. And this palette is a palette that I'm going to be using if I'm not using the NARS Cool Emperor or Disco Dust by Tom Ford. This palette, oh, lordy lord. This is so pretty. I can't stand it. You can create a dramatic look a simple look, a neutral look, a cool look, a warm look, any kind of look with this palette. Of course the pigmentation is just, do I even need to talk about the pigmentation and the blendability of these palettes? Mm. You need to get you one. Moving on to eyes, I have two mascaras to talk about with you guys and they both were featured in a Mascara Madness Monday so I'll definitely link those videos down below for you. The first mascara is the Makeup Forever Excessive Lash Mascara and oh my goodness, I have not used a mascara that gave me such a huge wow factor in so long, I was shook. This mascara lengthens your lashes, it volumizes, it separates, you can layer it and layer it and layer it and it won't get clumpy. And oh my gosh, I love this mascara to death. The next mascara is a drugstore mascara and it's the Maybelline Less Sensational Full Fan Effect Mascara. And like I said, I did do a Mascara Madness Monday on this that will be linked down below. And Yes. Do I need to say any more about this mascara? This mascara and this mascara together is like, girl, you don't even need falsies no more. This is just so amazing to layer. It is amazing by itself. It's not waterproof, yet it still holds my curl really well. It's volumizing. It's lengthening. It's va va voom. It's amazing. Moving on to my favorite falsies of all time. It's going to be the Ardell Dummy Wispies. I have not found anything that I love more than this. Yeah, it's crazy. I love the invisible band that they come with and it's just so comfortable to wear all day long. You can re-wear them multiple times as well if you take care of them. And they're just really high quality lashes for a really inexpensive price. Moving on to lips, I have two products to share with you guys. I am wearing them both on my lips today. The first one is going to be the Tom Ford lipstick in first time. Oh my god, this lipstick gives me so many feels. I love it so much. It is a matte lipstick. It just works with every eye look and I love it. It is absolutely amazing. It's long lasting. It's pigmented. It feels so nice and velvety on the lips. It's just, I can't say enough good things about this. And the next lip product I have to share with you guys is the Tarte Lip Paint in Namaste. I 
can't even go a day without using this product. If I'm not using Namaste, I'm using First Time. If I'm not using First Time, I'm using Namaste. Today, I have Namaste in the center of my lips and then First Time on the outer parts of my lips and they just create such a beautiful gradient. And the Tarte lip paints are really comfortable on the lips. I feel like they're not overly drying, but they also last a really long time on me. So yeah, if you guys haven't tried the Tarte lip paints yet, I highly recommend them. The formula is great. Moving on to bronzer. The bronzer that has been giving me all sorts of life this year is the Hoola Benefit Bronzer. I know I'm so late to this product, but you know what? I got around to it, okay? I got around to it and I love it and I'm never going back. I can contour with this and it's just so effortless. It's so blendable and it, it's not patchy on me. It's like, ugh. I'm getting to the point in this video where I have no more words to describe how great these products are, so bear with me. I'm trying to collect myself, but it's hard, guys. It's really hard. Moving on to blushes. I have two blushes to share with you guys. The first one is going to be a Wet n Wild blush, and do you guys see that? I hit pan. Like, holy heck, I hit pan on this. I feel like the first half of the year, all I used was this blush, and then the second half of the year, all all I used was the second blush that I'm going to be talking about in just a second. Um, but Rose Champagne by Wet n Wild is my baby boo. It is so gorgeous. I love this to pieces. It is such a pretty neutral blush. Pink, pale, pink, dusty pink. I don't know. It's gorgeous and you need it. I love it. It goes with everything. Like I said, for like six months, I swear this was all I was using. And the next blush is Sex Appeal by NARS. And this blush is also kind of like a paley pink nude blush, but this one doesn't have any shimmers in it. This is a matte blush versus Rose Champagne. It does have a shimmer to it. It's more of like a satiny, shimmery finish. When you see it in the pan, you're like, is that even gonna show up? But girl, it shows up and it shows up beautifully on the skin. I absolutely love, love, love this blush. Yeah, I've been using it for the past six months, so what can I say? I'm addicted to it. And you know what? I don't need any help. I'm gonna continue to use it until the day I die. Moving on to highlighters. If I didn't have highlighting favorites in this video, did I even live in 2016 at all? The first one, of course, you guys already know is going to be NARS Albatross. I've talked about this before on my channel, but it is just such a pretty, pretty highlighter. It's what I have on right now. Are you feeling it? Cause I'm feeling it. You can build this up and be a goddess or you can, you know, lay low on it and you know, be like, oh yeah, I was born with this natural glow. What you know about that? Albatross by NARS, it's amazing. Get yourself one. Moving on, the next highlighting palette that I have been loving is the Hourglass Ambient Light Palette. It has a middle one called Incandescent Light and then this one is called Dim Light, and then this one is Radiant Light. I use the Incandescent Light the most because it's the lightest shade. I sometimes like to use that to set my under eye if I'm really trying to go for like a really nice glow glow look that day, or I just like to use it as more of like a nice highlight um, on the tops of my cheekbones. But this palette is amazing. I love the versatility that it gives me. And all three shades are just gorgeous. So now I'm going to go ahead and move on to brushes. But before we do that, I'm going to talk about the sponge that I have been using kind of all year long. It's going to be the Real Techniques sponge. And it looks like this. It is amazing. Obviously, I haven't been using this specific one for all year. But I have repurchased this so many times. It is just so nice and bouncy. This is not... um wet so it's not um, enlarged but once you do run it underwater and get it damp this does enlarge it's just like a beauty blender um, it's super soft and it applies my foundation my concealer it blends everything out like seamlessly so I love this sponge so the first brush I have to share with you guys is the A23 brush by Anastasia and this is their highlighting brush. It just applies your highlight so beautifully, so seamlessly. The next couple brushes I have to share from you guys are going to be from Sigma. They're my absolute favorite. So the first one is going to be the Sigma E55. This is the eye shading brush. This is just a perfect 
brush to apply your shadow all over your lid. It picks up product amazingly. I get no fallout when I use this brush. I highly, highly recommend you guys checking out Sigma brushes if you guys have not already. The next brush from Sigma is the E37 All Over Blend Brush. This is a great brush to use if you're blending that transition color into your crease or you're blending out any harsh lines. This is just, like it says, an all-over blending brush. This is like a blend, 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 blend kind of brush, and everybody needs a brush like this in their collection. The next brush is the Sigma Small Contour F05 brush, and this brush is so amazing at applying your bronzer and giving you that really effortless contour. I just dab this brush a little bit into my hula bronzer and then I just buff it on into the places where I want a little bit of bronzer, want a contour, and voila! It just blends into my skin and it just melts the product onto my face so gorgeously. And the last brush I have to share with you guys today is the Sigma Tapered Highlighting Brush and it's the F35. I love using this brush for setting my under eye or sweeping off my bake. It just fits so perfectly under there that I feel like hmm, this is designed for it. It says it's a highlighting brush and I have used it as a highlighting brush before and it works great as that as well. Now moving on to skincare, I have three items to share with you guys today. The first one is going to be my Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Botanical Cleansing Oil. I recently talked about this in my top five skincare products for the winter time and it's just amazing. I'll go ahead and link that video down below as well. It takes off my makeup so effortlessly. I look forward to using this because it feels so nice and comforting on the skin. The next skincare product that I love is also by Kiehl's and it's their turmeric and cranberry seed energizing radiance mask. Immediately after you wash this off, I feel like I notice an instant radiance in my skin. And it's like, oh my goodness, it's so freaking smooth and soft and radiant. My skin is like glowing right after I take this off. And because it has cranberry seeds in it, it works as a really nice and gentle exfoliant as well once you rinse it off. I am due to repurchase it and I definitely will repurchase it. And the last skincare product that I have to share with you guys that I absolutely love is my Skiderm Snail Jelly Mask. I also talked about this in my top five um, skincare products for the winter time. Like I said, I'll link that video down below for you guys. But this mask is just probably my all-time favorite sheet mask. I've already repurchased it a couple times just in case because I have a fear of running out. It is just so nice and hydrating and luxurious on the skin. And this mask kind of just targets and helps everything and all skin concerns. So why not get a mask that does everything? The next three products I have here are going to be hair care products and if you guys don't follow me on Instagram or you guys haven't been following me for a really long time, you guys won't know that I was blonde before this happened. Um, yeah, I was blonde. I was very, very blonde. I was like a silver blonde. So my hair has gone through a lot. These three products has helped nourish it back to life and I feel like my hair is just so healthy. So the first product for hair care that I have been loving is the Aussie 3 Minute Miracle Deep Conditioner. These come in multiple different variants. This one is the moist one. Um, I hate that word so I'm not going to say it anymore. But yeah, I've also used the color one because I do color my hair and they're just all amazing. I love them all. And the next two products kind of go hand in hand together so I'm just going to talk about them at the same time. It's going to be the It's a 10 Miracle Daily Conditioner and then also the It's a 10 Miracle Moisture Shampoo. This shampoo and conditioner has helped me so much in bringing my hair back to being healthy. Like I said, I was a silver blonde and it takes a lot, a lot of bleach and a lot of processing to get my hair to be a silver blonde color. And though my hairstylist is amazing and I feel like my hair was never like severely damaged, it was still obviously damaged to an extent and dry to an extent. But these two products are 
honestly just like it says it's a miracle worker and then the next thing I want to talk to you guys about is a book called ugly love I've never really shared books with you guys before but if you guys haven't checked this book out I highly recommend it it's by Colleen Hoover this is just a really charming and endearing love story if you guys are into love stories and like horny like cutesy stuff then you're gonna love this i am totally into those kind of books so when i read this i finished it in two days and i'm not really a huge reader but when i picked this up i didn't want to put it down and the last but definitely not least item that i'm going to be sharing with you guys in this video that gave me all sorts of life in 2016 is my teeny skinny detox tea this tea is so amazing it's helped me through the holiday times to just keep the weight off and it helps me from feeling bloated it is so so great and it tastes great and it just is amazing and then of course my teeny tumbler i love this i use it every day i use it alongside with my teeny like i said every single product in this video will be linked in the down bar and listed in the down bar as well all the coupon codes discount codes i will leave also in the down bar any videos that i have featured these products in before i will also link down below if you guys wanted a more in-depth review or look at the product i will have that all in the description box below it will be loaded and loaded with information down there for you guys so please make sure to check it out and if you guys have any other questions feel free to go ahead and leave them in the comment box down below and yeah, let me know what kind of videos you guys would like to see next. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button because it would mean so, so much to me. And then also click on the notification bell so you guys will be notified when I upload a new video. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Please thumbs up and subscribe because it would make me very happy and my heart all fuzzy. And I think that is all. Bye guys!